teenagers with their heads in their phone. Nothing new here. All gathered in a park. Maybe a bit strange. It's because they all want to be the very best. Like no one was before. They're playing Pokemon Go. Yes, Pokemon. That means that there is a Pokemon near, so it might be a rare Pokemon that I don't have. That game played by primary school kids in the early 2000s. And because of it, things like this are likely to start happening right here in the UK. The new version of the game uses your phone's camera and GPS to integrate Pokemon into the everyday world. So you could be walking to work and spot a Pikachu. What are you going to do? Catch it, of course. The game has had a limited release so far, and in one short weekend it has taken over. Already it's got nearly the same number of active users as Twitter, and is getting downloaded more than Tinder. Who needs to find love when you've got Pokemon? This Twitter user in Rochester, New York, Pokemon. found nearly everyone was out playing. Pokemon? Totally. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon? Yes. Pokemon. Pokemon? Yes. Pokemon. <laughs> It's because this is a video game like no other. You can't just sit on your sofa and expect Pokemon to flock to you. Oh no, you have to physically walk to get to assigned Pokestops, often statues or other landmarks, where you can stock up on Pokeballs and find Pokemon in the wild. As well as groups of Pokemon trainers out on the streets, it's led to some rather strange and funny interactions. Twitter user Boone Sheridan lives in a converted church and Pokemon decided it should be a gym where people come to battle their Pokemon. Over the course of a day, he reckons over 30 people turned up outside to play. Down under in Australia, a police station discovered they were a Pokestop and had lots of people popping in to pick up more Pokeballs. We're still awaiting an official release date in the UK, but when it arrives, you can bet plenty of people will be out because you've got to catch them all. represent women in politics.